am Lily. Today I'm going to read you a story. Who takes care of the cattle? Reading it level three A. Okay, let's read it. Some people think a cowboy wears all these fancy clothes to just to look, just because he likes the way they look. Nope. That's not it at all. Everything a cowboy wears help him a better. Help him be a better cowboy. The first, the big hat shades his face. In the rain, it becomes an umbrella. He uses his hat to dip water and even to give his horse a drink. The red handkerchief around his neck is called a bandana. Often he pulls it across his mouth or nose as protection from swollen dust while driving cattle. He wears tight pants. He wears a second pair called chaps. They are leather or that. They are leather, or woolly sheepskin. They keep his legs from being scratched when he is riding through cactus and bush. His high-heeled boots keep his foot from slipping through the stirrups, and when he gets off his horse to rope steer, he braces himself by digging the high heels into the ground. A cowboy does many kinds of work. Each spearing and pull the curves must be rounded up for rending, and the cattle must be driven to railroads for shipping. In between times, a cowboy mounts fences, trains horses, and cares for sick and injured cattle. He is even a good blacksmith and knows how to shoe his own horses. But most of the time, he is in the saddle. In all kinds of weather, he rides the lonely range, watching over or the cattle mocked with his ranch bread. Sorry. In or in earlier times, the cowboy's riding was done from the main ranch, or from cabins spread over the distant range. But not for now. He often takes his horse put way in a truck. Sometimes in winter, when cattle are trapped in deep snow, he even drops hay for them for an airplane. At night, when cattle drives, cowboys take turns riding around the resting herd, singing low songs to keep the cattle quiet. But sometimes, a thunderstorm will frighten the cattle into a wild stampede. They run through the pouring rain, horse horns tossing and glinting in the lightning. The earth shakes when the pounding of their hoofs and their loud bellowing. The cowboys raise their horses to the front of the stampede. They shout with their vehicles, slickers, even fire, even fire, six shooters. Unless they can turn their leaders and get the horn running into a great circle, the cattle will be, the cattle will be scattered far and wide by morning. They may even stampede blindly over cliffs and kill themselves, but once the herd is circling like an enemy's merry-go-round, it begins to slow down. The cattle crowd against one another and finally stop running. The cowboys continue to ride slowly around them, singing softly until all is quiet again. Rodeos are the cowboy sport. They are held all over the country, just like football and baseball games. Contests are held in roping calves, riding bucking broncos, and many other skills. Often, working cowboys will try their luck in local rodeos. Some are so good that they win big prizes and go on to become professional rodeo riders. The professionals perform in great stadiums before thousands of people. At the end of the year, one of them is named the world's world champion cowboy. Many cowboys now work on dude ranches. They teach city people how to ride and take them on long camping trips. Still, others go to Hollywood to act in western movies and television shows. Some of the best western stars started out as cowboys working on ranches. So these cattle, these cattles, 
Who takes care of this cattle? Okay, today I read your story. Who takes care of the cattle? Uh, this this man, I think, is a cowboy, and this big hat. Uh, in the rain, this hat keeps him from. This this hat becomes an umbrella for him, and he can drink from it, and also for his horse, and this red handkerchief on his neck. A red handkerchief is often it pulls across his mouth and nose as a protection for swelling dust when driving cattle. Okay, bye! Thank you for watching!